an American artillery spotter in Vietnam. An Australian guided missile destroyer, HMAS Perth, answering the call. Across the South China Sea from Vietnam are the Philippines, and at Subic Bay on the Bataan Peninsula is the large and important American naval base, headquarters of the U.S. 7th Fleet. It is from here that the Royal Australian Navy's guided missile destroyers operate with ships of the United States Navy fighting from the sea in a war against the enemies of the government of South Vietnam. On board, self-maintenance and dockyard facilities correct defects and repair equipment which tires in battle as much as men. Tenseness disappears with what sailors call a run ashore, a few beers, a game of sport. Perth sails from Subic Bay to a war only a day away across the sea. Perth is an American built ship, but in American company, her distinctive Australian naval gray-green paint sets her apart. American sailors, remembering advertisements they knew at home, call her the Jolly Green Giant. In the South China Sea and steaming west, all weapon systems are checked. Perth's primary air defense is the Tartar missile with a range farther than the horizon and computer-controlled accuracy. Hikara, the Australian-designed anti-submarine missile, is mounted on each side of Perth. Near Vietnam, Perth prepares to take on fuel. A modern warship need rarely enter port. Food, ammunition, fuel can all be taken on at sea. Underway replenishment is a skill which is continually practiced. Support ships are a busy fleet in the South China Sea coming and going to and from Subic Bay with stores, fuel, and ammunition, which will enable the fighting ships to remain in action on the gun line. Ships are most vulnerable when their movement is constricted by a maneuver in close company. Stores must be transferred swiftly.
orders from the task group commander. Perth is on the gun line to give naval gunfire support to troops fighting on land and to stop supplies being carried by sea from north to south Vietnam. She is ordered to an area off Da Nang. Da Nang is one of the biggest ports in South Vietnam. The country is mountainous. In the mountains, the Viet Cong are hard to find, and artillery cannot be brought in by land. This is an ideal situation for naval gunfire. American Army officers come on board to explain the nature of the task the likely targets, and other details of the plan of battle. Below deck, gun crews pass powder and projectiles for the guns into the hoist, which will automatically feed the guns above. The Command Information Center, the operations room, Now Perth is approaching her action position. By radio, army spotters on shore give her the range and bearing of a target, a bridge. The gunnery officer calls for one shot to test the range. Day and night, the firing continues. Men sleep, eat, and work with apparent disregard for the sounds of war around them. same meal is breakfast for one man and dinner for another. Every afternoon at four o'clock, if the war allows, officers and men have a rigorous workout on deck. Always the coast of Vietnam is in sight to remind them of their job. is frequent on the gun line. Another replenishment. 
Sometimes ships replenish two and three times a day with different stores. Smoking is forbidden during ammunition transfers. As an extra safety measure, no high-frequency radio transmissions are made while the explosives are being handled. In the two years after the Royal Australian Navy joined forces with the Americans off Vietnam, Perth and Hobart between them fired more than 50,000 rounds in anger. Each projectile weighs 70 pounds, 30 to the ton, and Perth uses hundreds each time she goes on the gun line. In 34 minutes, a total of 288 projectiles Two hundred and seventy-three powder cases have been swung on board, uncrated, carried, and stacked. Once more, Perth is fully armed and ready to take her place on the gun line. Perth's next call for gunfire may take her to the demilitarized zone or far south to the Mekong Delta. Wherever and whenever the call may come, Perth and her crew are ready for action when they are together on the gun line. 